the desert, it's all about light meals in the summer, and that's exactly what we're making today with Chef Gerard Viverito. Now, you're with Passion Fish. It's yes. a nonprofit group. Tell me about that before we dive right in here. Ten years ago, we founded a nonprofit to uh, educate people on sustainability of the ocean. What's good to eat? What's not so good to eat? What's going to be around? How we can make a change? How we can all do something better? So I go around the country hosting educational forums, dinners, talking to schools, uh, conferences, seminars, and, and trying to make a difference. Well, it sounds like you are making a difference, Hopefully. and you're going to make a difference today. You're going to help us with a very light meal, and it involves fish, A light, obviously. quick meal, yes. Yeah. <laughs> sustainable. We have a, uh, this is sockeye salmon. It's in season right now in Alaska, so it's very sustainable. It's very healthy. And I also try to build meals. I try to educate people on their health. Sustainability has to do with the planet, with, with economics. It has to do with our health. If we're not around doesn't matter if we're sustainable anymore. Exactly. So, and I always hear great things about salmon. It's high in omega-3s, high in omega-6s, really healthy for you. And I'm going to build a healthy vinaigrette based on the salad today, too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sear off the salmon. So a nice hot pan. We marinate this in a little bit of olive oil, touch of garlic, give it a little bit of flavor. We don't want to do too long because okay. it's fish. It takes on quick I'm going to move this right flavor here so quickly. Okay. okay. So as that's searing, we're going to build our dressing. And the first thing I'm going to use is a uh, is an orange juice. This is a little different than most ponzanellas. It's really hot outside, oily fish. You're looking for something acidic to cut through the fat. Okay. So a little bit of orange juice and this particular one that we're using, this one actually reduces cholesterol. This whole meal is heart healthy. Look at this. I mean, this has something in here called Corawise, and it's a it's a new plant sterile, and the FDA has now said 0.4 grams of plant sterols ingested twice a day is proven to reduce cholesterol. All right, so, so we have this that. counts as one. This is, yeah, this is one <laughs> serving. Then we're going to add agave. Agave is from the cactus. We're surrounded by cactus here. This is from the agave cactus. It does not raise your blood sugar level. It helps sweeten it. A little bit of apple cider vinegar for a crisp flavor. We're going to put some garlic in there. And then olive oil. All right, we know the health benefits of olive oh, oil. Cholesterol neutral. Nice flavor. Blend that together. A little bit of salt will tighten this. One thing I really can't stand is when people don't season their vinaigrettes or season their greens. Me too. I've probably I hate had that. some bland salads. <laughs> it just helps draw out some flavor. You know, one thing about sustainability, let's support the locals. Go to your farmer's markets. Oh, Get yeah, these we tomatoes. We have here. all different beautiful tomatoes. We have bull's hearts. We have little baby purple Cherokees. We have lemon boys. Nice, bright, colorful salad. If we can blend these together, maybe cut them into some different shapes. Let those sit for a bit. Some beautiful local cucumbers. A little bit of red onion. We're going to take some basil. It's fun just to see what you guys put together, you know, so that we can do this at home. And it's so quick. I mean, in a few minutes, we're going to have a meal. We're going to take this basil. We're going to shift and knot it right around the stem because we don't want the stems. Discard those. Sprinkle that in there. And then this is called ponzanella, Tuscan bread salad. If you ever have bread laying around that's stale, it's getting old, just chop it up. This is my weakness. You're going to throw my it favorite. right in. Okay. You're going to let it soak up some of that beautiful dressing. We're almost done, right? We're almost done. Look at this. And we're going to just arrange this. Do you let this soak in there for, for a while? You can, or? depending on the staleness of the bread, you can go upwards of a, you know, say a half an hour. Okay. Um, if you have really rock hard bread. For me, the bread. soggier the bread, the better. I yeah, know a lot of people don't like that, but no, I love it. No, that's the beauty of it. I mean, it's just so ref refreshing. It picks up all that flavor. So we'll randomly place that on there. Then we have these beautiful little baby greens, different uh, pea shoots and bull's blood and little uh, sunflower sprouts. We'll get them to pick up a little bit of the vinaigrette. Okay. Make a nice little pile like so. That's great. We'll take our fish like so on top. And here we have this, you know, cholesterol reducing sustainable meal. Right? You know, what I love about this is, you know, we live here in the desert and I know a lot of people don't use, you know, the agave nectar, and it's, you know, it's surrounded. We're surrounded by it, so this is really like an authentic Alaskan <laughs> Phoenix well, it's, it's, yeah, Sonora we'll Desert it's dish. North meets south. Right? There you go. It, well, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the you. show, and I think I can make that at home. And you can find all of today's recipes on SonoranLiving.com under the food tab.